Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Baxter Student Ambassador Program webinars. Um, today's webinar is going to be um, done by Jenny Kim. Um, Jenny, are you there? Can you hear me? Hi, Jenny? Yeah. Okay, great. All right. Um, so just want to uh, introduce Jenny um, Kim from Sheridan College for the presentation today. If you have any questions for Jenny throughout her presentation, please uh, type them in the chat box and she will answer them at the end of the uh, presentation. So Jenny, uh, feel free to get started whenever you are ready. Okay. Okay. Good, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jenny Kim, and I am currently a second semester student at Sheridan's Tourism and Travel Program. Um, so, um, Curacao is considered to be a hidden gem of the Caribbean. It's a place unlike any other, as it combines the charm of old world European with the tropical warmth of the Caribbean. The people are friendly and welcoming. The history and culture are rich and worth exploring. The cuisine is fresh and flavorful. And there are so many sights to see and so many things to do. And the island's vibrant scenery is absolutely captivating. So for those of you that are not familiar with Curacao, it is located just above Venezuela in the Southern Caribbean Sea and it is the largest of the three Dutch islands in the Caribbean, also known as the ABC Islands. Curaçao sits right in between its sister islands, Aruba and Bonaire. And Curaçao currently has a population of over 153,000 people, and the majority of them reside in the capital of Willemstad. The local currency is the Netherlands Antillian Gilder, and their official languages are Dutch, English, and Papia, Papiamento, which is a Creole language that is the most widely spoken in Curacao. And although Spanish isn't considered an official language, it is commonly heard due to the island's proximity to Spanish-speaking nations. <clears throat> so, According to the Caribbean Tourism Organization, uh, Curacao, <clears throat> sorry, Curacao is a destination that is increasingly developing interest amongst Canadians, especially showing a significant interest in visitors from Quebec in 2015. To support this group, to support this growing popularity for Curacao, Canadian airlines are increasing direct nonstop flights. Air Canada offers year-round non-stop flights from Toronto to Curacao and seasonal non-stop flights from Montreal. Seasonal non-stop flights from Toronto to Curacao are also offered by Sunwing Airlines, Air Transat, as well as WestJet. Entry requirements for Canadians visiting Curacao are a valid Canadian uh, passport, which must be valid for at least three months beyond the date of expected departure. Um, permanent residents of Canada must travel with their permanent resident card and valid, <laughs> and valid passport from their country of origin. Tourist, tourist visas are not required for Canadians um, if the stay is for 30 days or less. Um, Canadians can stay in Curacao without a visa for a maximum of 30 days. Okay. So these are the current um, tour operators that are currently selling um, Curacao, uh, Air Canada Vacations, Sunwing Vacations, and SunQuest Vacations. And Curacao is an island that has a long history and is rich in culture. The island is a melting pot com compromise, comprising of over 50 nationalities, which include West Indian, Dutch, European, Latin American, and African. People can learn about the complex history by visiting the many historic sites the island has to offer, such as the, the Hato Caves, 
where you can find Arawak cave drawings, the McVeigh um, Israel and the McVeigh Israel Emmanuel Synagogue, the oldest synagogue in the Western Hemisphere that was established in the 16th century, as well as the capital city of Willemstad, which was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to the number of colorful painted 18th century Dutch architecture buildings. So the climate in Curacao. Curacao's climate is a tropical savanna, which is warm and sunny all year round and is low in humidity. The island gets cool breezes and maintains an average temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. And because Curacao is outside, is located outside the Caribbean's hurricane belt, clients can book trips feeling reassured that their vacations won't be interrupted by a storm. The island does have a rainier season that lasts from October to February, but periods of rain are occasional and they only last a short while. Um, the average annual rainfall is around 20 inches, which means they remain pretty dry during the year. Also, being so close to the equator, Curacao is a warm destination that is fantastic to visit year-round. So in Curacao, there is a wide variety of activities and attractions to partake in. There's something for everyone, and there's an endless amount of new activities to try. Um, for example, there's horseback riding, um, biking, um, hiking. There's really great hiking trails. Um, underwater, uh, <coughs> sorry, underwater uh, scooters for which are great for families and you can go there to relax and um, also take part in different water activities and land activities. So when it comes to land sports, many visitors enjoy a few rounds of golf on Curacao because the, the temperate weather makes it ideal for golfing conditions. Golfers should definitely check out the gold quarry at, San, in, at Santa Barbara Beach and Golf Resort, as it has been rated one of Golf Week's best courses in the Caribbean. Um, if golfing isn't your cup of tea, there are still many other options to choose from. For example, mountain biking, horseback riding, rock climbing, tennis, ATV tours, and hiking. Um, so some natural attractions um, that Curacao has to offer, because it's so, it's so biodiverse, um, it offers many great sites for ecotourists to explore, uh, such as the Christoffel National Park, a natural preserve that is known to have the most biodiversity compared to anywhere else on the island. It's run by the Karma the Karma B Foundation, and the park is also home to Mount Chris Christoffel, the highest point in Curacao. The park can be found on the northwestern end of the island, and it's also popular for its eight hiking trails. Uh, the neighboring, neighboring Christoffel is Scheidt Broca National Park, which is a well-known park for its inlets with, with crashing waves and Boca Tabla an underground cave. The park is also a fantastic location to spot turtles as there are three species known to lay eggs there. So Curacao is known for the beaches. Uh, they offer many picturesque white sand beaches all around the island. There are more than 35 beaches that you can relax and enjoy your time on, and the clear turquoise water remains around 20 26 degrees Celsius throughout the year, making this a great destination to visit anytime. Some popular beaches uh, in the area are Blue Bay Beach, which is great for families, 
um, because it allows for many different activities and it's located near the fisherman's village of St. Michel and Kanipa Beach, an intimate beach that is in the northwestern end of the island. Okay, so water activities. Scuba diving is a must in Curacao. Uh, the stunning underwater reefs and aquatic life are breathtaking. It's almost as if you're looking at your at a computer wallpaper. Um, some great diving sites are the Blue Room in Westport and the Underwater Marine Park. Um, other popular water activities in Curacao include sailing, um, which um, which ha they have regattas. Uh, during the year, and that's also one that's very common. Um, kayaking, fishing, particularly marlin fishing, where they would have tournaments, um, and boarding, and and also swimming with dolphins. Um, you can swim with dolphins at the Dolphin Academy, which is located in Curacao's Sea Aquarium. <laughs> So some accommodations at Curacao. When it comes to accommodations in Curacao, many different options, there are many different options available to satisfy people's needs. Whether it's a family vacation, a romantic getaway, or a fun retreat with friends, there are many different properties to choose from. Uh, one, for example, is the Sunscape Curacao Resort Spa and Casino, which is a four-star all-inclusive beachfront property in Willemstad. It's perfect for family vacations with, with children um, because they offer youth clubs. Also, it's great for relaxing spa vacations and destination weddings and honeymoons. So Flora Suite Hotel and Flora Suite Hotel Spa and Beach Club is a adult only property. Um, they're a four star hotel that focuses on LGBT guests, um, but are welcoming to all. But you do have to be 18 years of age and older. The property is located in Piscadera Bay, and they offer a breakfast plan. And they focus on relaxation and spa vacations. Um, apart from high, high star brand name hotels, Curacao also offers old Dutch hotels and bungalows. If you're looking to get a more authentic feel of Curacao. When it comes to shopping, Willemstad is mainly concentrated in the, Punta, in the Punda shopping district. You can find a little bit of everything in the shops of Punda, including open air markets where locals sell their, their warefares, um, and as well as other brands that are now coming in, such as Levi's, as you can see on, on the picture. So your Puna experience is not complete if you have not visited the floating market. Um, here, Venezuelan salesmen sell goods directly from their boats, and all the goods from, their, from Venezuela are fresh daily, and the boats sell fruits and vegetables and fish. And if you're a person that really likes to indulge in authentic local cuisine, Plaza View is the place for you. Plaza View is 
or also known as the Old Market, is the go-to place for local dishes and, and the local experience. Meals are hearty and of great value for the price, but and after your meal at Plaza, you can enjoy refreshing batito, which is a fruit smoothie sold from um, from truck, from, <clears throat> from street vendors. And another great attraction to visit while in Curacao is the factory that makes the famous Curacao liqueur. Created from the Lajara citrus fruit um, that only grows in Curacao, visitors can tour the factory and try samples. So festivals and nightlife. Because the island is densely populated with locals, the nightlife scene is geared for the residents as well as tourists. The Senya district is the heart of Curacao's nightlife. For people that would like to test their luck, they can do so at one of Curacao's many casinos as the Emerald Casino in Curacao's Marriott Beach Resort. For people that would like to test their luck, Okay, sorry, so if uh, dancing is more your thing, um, you can be sure to pick up a K-Pasa entertainment guide, which lets you know about all the upcoming exciting events that take place during the week, um, usually at like clubs and parties around the, around the city in Curacao. So due to the warm climate and diverse culture, Curacao's nightlife is without a doubt the best in the ABC islands. For tourists that enjoy a good party, the best time of year to visit is during Carnival. And Carnival runs for several weeks during the months of January and February, ending on Mardi Gras, and features about two dozen parades through the main streets of, well, of, Willemstein, of Willemstad. At Carnival, you'll see so many colors, um, masked people just letting loose, dancing, and it's really a great experience. It's really a great experience to um, have during your lifetime. If you can if you can go once just because just because uh curacao is so colorful in nature another festival that takes place in curacao is the north sea jazz festival which is an annual music festival held in that's that started in 2010 it's a three-day festival that takes place towards the end of summer in Willemstad. And it's a very popular event that has had famous international musicians perform in lineups. Past performers include Lionel Richie, Bruno Mars, and John Legend. So how to sell Curacao to your clients? When selling Curacao, I will recommend that travel agents mention that Curacao is a destination for niche tourism because a lot, they offer so many different types of activities and there are so many events throughout the year. Um, for instance, golf is, there's a week long golf tournament that's held annually. Um, Marlin fishing tournaments are also very popular. And scuba diving is, is well, scuba divers know that Curacao is one of the go-to places. Um, and it's been rated in Reader's Digest as one of the, one of the five best locations to scuba dive. Um, there's also many regatta events uh, where ships will race around the island. And another, another category that falls under niche tourism 
is ecotourism, which Curacao is, because it's so tropical and so biodiverse, um, from water, from the sea to the mountains, there's just so, there's so mu much biodiversity and there's so much um, for people to see. Uh, ecotourists would have a blast at, at Curacao. Um, I would also recommend uh, that travel agents um, <coughs> suggest Curacao to people who are seeking both trips to Europe and the Caribbean, but don't have the resources to do both trips, as Curacao offers a little bit of both. Um, uh, a little bit of both. Um, a, from old rural European and and the and Caribbean, as well as so many other so many other nationalities that are found on the island at the on the island today. Uh, the island would also appeal to couples looking for private romantic getaways as there are plenty of re remote beach and romantic luxury accommodations that offer great spa treatments and other services that cater to um, couples such as like destination weddings and um, destination weddings and just romantic dinners and and whatnot. Um, the next uh, the next one I the next I would next suggest um, Curacao to family fam, families looking for vacations because there are so many activities and attractions for all age groups to participate in. And, and it also provides adults, like parents, to get away from their kids because there are so many youth programs offered to these two young children. And the last, and the last one would be, I would suggest this location for people and couples of the LGBT community just because Curacao is accepting of LGBT rights, while there are still many destinations that don't welcome them. And yeah, that's just that would be a, that would be a great market because there are like, there are so many people that want to travel. Everyone had a lot of people have the travel bug, but it. It's really sad to see that some people are limited just because of their life, their lifestyle, and yeah. So yes, so why should travel agents sell Curacao, and why should they recommend Curacao to their clients? Like, what would they benefit from selling their destination? Um, Well, based on the 2015 data from the Caribbean Tourism Organization that showed a 43% increase of Canadian travelers going to Curacao, we know that the interest in Curacao as a travel destination is on the rise amongst Canadians. Um, people are seeking a Caribbean vacation that hasn't been mass marketed and overcrowded with tourists. and that's where Curacao fits in. That's what Curacao offers. Um, a remote area where you can still enjoy the Caribbean, but not be right next to a bunch of a, a bunch of other tourists. Like you when most people when they travel, they want to get a bit of the local experience and it's hard when you 
get to a location and you just feel like you haven't really left, you le haven't really left home. Um, and when people travel, they're looking to get away from the norm. And I and that's what Curacao offers. It offers a new destination that's remote, where people can learn about different cultures and get an experience that's different from their own. Um, so yeah, so Curacao is a hidden gem because it offers so much, because it has so much to offer, yet it's not the first destination people consider when deciding to plan a trip to the Caribbean. And because Curacao is a destination that isn't as well known as other Caribbean locations, many clients are seeking out travel agents to help them book. Therefore, people will be more, will rely more upon, so travel agents will be relied upon by interested clients, which would gain agents the following benefits, uh, uh, more commission, more revenue, um, market share, word of mouth advertisement uh, new and new clients okay. and because um and because there is a growing interest in curacao and travel agents will have to learn about it bam trips will probably be one of the most sought after benefits Okay, so thank you for listening. Um, I just like to say thank you to the Baxter Travel Media, as well as the Baxter Student uh, Ambassador Program, Sandals and WestJet, just giving me these, this opportunity to um, be a part of this. Okay, thank you. Hi, Jenny. Thank you so much for your presentation. Um, I just want to encourage people right now to ask any questions in the chat box or the question box if they have any. Um, there was one question that came up about the benefits to travel agents, but I'm pretty sure you answered that um, right after the person asked it. Um, and there was another question about ecotourism. Mm -hmm. um, and if you could talk a little bit more about that. Mm -hmm. uh, can I see the chat box or is it? Um, uh, you should be able to see it. Um, but the what, for one question was about, yeah, well, oh, it was just directed to me, was about what the benefits are um, for travel agents when they're selling, for selling the destination. But I, I'm pretty sure you answered that, unless you want to um, go over some other points or, um, or go into more detail. That would be great, too. Oh, okay. Uh, well... Because it's a niche, uh, because it's a niche, <coughs> sorry, sorry, I'm coming, I'm recovering from a cold. Uh, well, because there's an interest in, because there's an interest in Curacao, and people are already, they're already seeking it. They're already, you can see by the data that, um, uh, from the Caribbean Tourism Organization, that Canadians are seeking out Curacao, and um, <clears throat> and they're relying on travel agents. Uh, I read I read in actually the I read in the article that seventy five percent of people who did who went to Curacao booked with a travel agent. And for a lot of other destinations, I feel people are getting more comfortable booking it themselves because it's so well known. Whereas Curacao is just up and coming and people are relying more on travel agents for that. And so when 
people are relying more on travel agents, the benefits would be commission. Um, <laughs> and if they charge service fees, they'll get service fees with um, out of their clients. Um, and when these people come back from their trips and they've enjoyed their they've enjoyed their time and everything went well and their travel agent did a great job of booking their trip and and having having the trip go through without a flaw they will share they will share their experiences uh, via word of mouth and therefore in, um, more people will be interested in more people will be interested in uh, going to Curacao, and that just means that. And people, if they find a good travel agent, they stick with them. And so, yeah, if you're selling and you have a good travel agent and you went on a good trip, you're going to tell your friends, and their and your friends are going to book, and so on and so forth. Um, Great. <laughs> Great. Um, another question was, how long is the flight from Toronto? From Toronto? Mm -hmm. um, it's approximately around uh, five hours, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Great. Good. Um, and uh, just before we go, are there any other questions from any of the participants? want to make sure everybody's asked there. Um, no, it looks great. Okay, Jenny, well, thank you so much for your presentation and for participating in the Baxter Student Ambassador Program. And um, good luck, and thank you again, and have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I'd just like to thank everyone for listening. <laughs> okay, have a good day.